Okay, my name is Frank van der Lint and I represent the Siren Fleet. Siren Fleet, we have six boats, all different destinations, all over Southeast Asia. Yeah. Okay, uh, so what are those destinations which you are operating on? The destinations where we operate at the moment are Indonesia, we're in uh, the Maldives, we're in Philippines, we're in Palau, we're in Thailand, we are in Burma, we are in the Andaman Islands, India, we are in Malaysia, in Layang Layang, and we are in East Timor. Mm -hmm. And what about boats? Because they are quite different to other labor boats. Yeah? Yes, our boats are different. Why they are different? Um, our boats are actually made by divers for divers. And the difference with that you can see already, for example, on the dive deck. Yeah, the dive deck is really spacious. Um, everybody has a lot of space to put in a drawer. Uh, they have in the saloons. We have in the saloons, which is... These are very luxuries. Which is not only very luxury, but also very functional. <coughs> we have in every saloon, we have drawers. People, for example, have a number. Um, and they have a drawer where they can put their stuff in. Um, so not only luxury, but very functional. Okay, is the service also luxury? Oh, the service. <laughs> Our service actually includes everything. Um, we have, um, for example, beer included. Yeah, that's quite yeah. interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> beer included, soft drinks are included, um, nitrox for free. Dive equipment, if people don't want to bring the dive equipment, we can also uh, provide that one. Um, basically what we do on our boat is like sleep, eat, dive, sleep, eat, dive, sleep, eat, dive, sleep, eat, dive, four times, four dives a day. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get on to the, to the boats, yes? Um, uh, which one would you like to start with, representing? <laughs> I would say let's start with, with uh, Indo Siren. Let's start with the Indo Siren, with this boat, which is about 42 meters long. We only take a maximum of 16 guests. Yeah? So the dive groups where we're diving in, they're very small. Um, we do with the Indo Siren two different itineraries, from April until the end of October, we are in an area which is called Komodo. Komodo is famous not only for the Komodo dragons, but it's also famous for manta rays. I would almost say manta guaranteed, yeah. Um, but also pygmy seahorses, big schools of fish, a lot of sharks, so a lot of action, and then of course the Komodo dragon, which we will visit during every trip as well. Okay, so from uh, April until October, Komodo, then we move the boat over to West Papua. Yeah. West Papua is right here, um, and that's where we have another famous destination which is called Ratcha Ampat. Ratcha Ampat, we do 10 day trips and we go all the way up north and all the way south. Ratcha Ampat is exactly the same, it's Manta guaranteed. Yeah. Always mentors around. Probably one of the most pristine corals that you can still find. Really, really healthy corals uh, in the south, especially, and then in the north, big schools of fish. So that's a very interesting place as well, and that's what we do all year round with this boat. Okay, and maybe now um, Philippine siren. I would say let's go to. We follow the brochure now. The Palau Siren. Okay, Palau. The Palau Siren, uh, we start with that one uh, October 2012. Um, with the Palau Siren, we do it a bit different than our competition, our competitors. We do, for example, 10 day trips. We also do the 7 day trips. Now, on our 10 day trip, on our 10 day trip, we move all the way up north. So we go from Koror, we go up north, and then we go south via Oolong, very famous dive sites in Oolong. We go to uh, dive places like uh, German Channel, we go to Blue Corner, and we do Pelilu, and we're the only one actually who have uh, the permit for Angor. So we also go to the South Island of Angor, 10 days, 32 dives, and we basically cover all of Palau. And also night dives? 
night dives, of course. We um, actually have a four di uh, dive uh, schedule a day. Um, sometimes it's a night dive and sometimes it will be a sunset dive. Okay. Uh, and what about next destinations? Most popular and uh, maybe some new destinations you have one? Well, the Maldives. Maldives is another boat, the Maldives Siren. With this boat we do also 10 day trips, uh, which is quite special for the Maldives. A lot of boats do only 7 days, we yeah. do 10 days. Yeah. That's quite unusual. Unusual. Uh, another di big difference with the boat on the Maldives is that we do 4 dives a day. And I d hardly know any other boat who's doing 4. Mostly they do 2 or a max of three dives and we do four dives so that's already one big difference as said before everything is included yeah everything is included i know boats on the maladies they have to pay for drinking water yeah. with us it is included and what about destinations uh, is it a north atolls or south atolls we are a bit different again than our competitors we do 10 day trips and we're the only boat that actually cover all over the Maldives. We do for example our north trip and that one starts in Malen. Starts in Malen, we go via Rasdu, which is very famous for uh, hammerheads. We go via Rasdu up to Ba Atoll, Hanifaru, and maybe you've seen it on National Geographic. This is one of the places where we sometimes have up to a hundred manta rays. Um, we go up north, all the way up north, and after 10 days we end the trip in Hanimadu. We end the trip in Hanimadu. This is where the people get off the boat. People get off the boat, they fly back to Malen, and then the new group flies in, and we do the same trip back again. So you're not backtracking, and basically you see in 10 days more than you would do with any of the other liverboards who do seven days, you, or then two or three seven day trips, because we go all the way up north. So generally you go there once, pay once, and see the same as twice. Exactly, <laughs> that's the way. Now what we also do is we do from Male a central trip. That one starts in Male. Again we go to Rasdu, very famous for uh, the hammerheads. Then we do Ariatol, one of the big chances to see uh, the whale shark. Mm -hmm. Then we continue all the way south, all the way south until Kadu. And in Kadu, the people get off again, they fly back to Male, new group is coming, and we do the same trip back again. Okay, and then we have the all the way the south at all, which is all the way south, and that's where we do 10 day trips, no other boats around, um, and we fly actually in uh, to the south, 10 day trip, and then we fly back again. Okay, so as you can see, the Maldives is the way we do it, is the only way of doing it, and a bit different. East Timor, and East Timor is also one of these new destinations. Um, no other liverboards around, so we're the only divers there, um, and we actually cover this whole area. East Timor is very well known for critters, but as you can see here, there is actually a way, a waterway, and this waterway is also famous for uh, whales. Yeah. Uh, it's south of Alor, which used to be a very uh, famous whale uh, area. Uh, so there's a good chance to see the, the whales around here as well. Plus it's quite famous for the dugongs. Mm. So it's a special trip as well, 10 days and guaranteed no other divers, apart from the divers on our boat. So there are, base, uh, there are two of our uh, new destinations. Um, then another one, one more boat we have. Uh, one more boat which we operate already for quite a long time and that's the Philippine Siren. Philipp yeah, our clients know the Philippine Siren and they enjoyed it very much so that's, that's like <laughs> it's very popular. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. It's a very spacious boat as any other boat of uh, uh, the Siren fleet. Um, with the Siren fleet we do four different destinations in actually the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And it depends a little bit at the time of the year where the boat is. If I start north, uh, we do trips from uh, beginning of November until half February. From Batangas, yeah, from Batangas, we do a 10-day trip all the way south to Coron. This is an amazing trip 
and you have everything included. You have, for example, macro life around Batangas and Batangas and Portocalera. You have um, Apo Reef, yeah? and then we head a little bit south, and then we reach the places around uh, Buswanga and Coron, and this is actually world famous for the wreck diving. Yeah? Yeah. There are many, many wrecks around here, Japanese Second World War wrecks, and they're very interesting. In the last three days of the trip, we actually spent the time around all these different wrecks. Then from uh, half February until uh, the end of April, yeah, we are in the area of Tubataha. Yeah, we have uh, the favor of going with you this year in really? April. Yes, we are. Tubataha is yeah. absolutely amazing. Why? It, <coughs> Why is this amazing? Tubataha is a protected area, it's a marine park and that marine park works very very well. We do trips, 14 day trips that we dive all over the Visayas, Apo Island and we go uh, via Apo Island to Tubataha and then end the trip in Porta Princesa. We also do trips up and down from Porta Princesa but it's like a protected area in the middle of the Zulu Sea. Yeah? And you can dive there only from uh, the end of March till the June, something like this? No, end of February, from end of, Fe end of February until actually uh, beginning of June. Yes. Yeah, because that's only that's when they only, can It's only a few, access. Months, a few months a year, uh, weather-wise. Yeah? Um, and as I said before, it's a protected area, so here you can still see on one dive 50, 60 sharks. You can have uh, sometimes a tiger shark coming in. You can have manta rays. You have big schools of fish, big schools of fish, whale sharks. Quite often we see as well. So everything here is possible. And what about reefs? The reefs. Ah, oh, the reefs down there are in very good health. Very good health. Overall, the <coughs> yes, yes, uh, very good health and overall the, uh, the reefs in the Philippines are absolutely amazing anyway. The corals as well um, and that's another trip we do uh, which is southern Visayas. Uh, we leave from Cebu and we dive all around the Visayas. We start for example in Cebu and we dive Kabilao, we dive Balikasak, we dive Sigihor, Apo Island, Dumaguete, Darwin, Moho Boho. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole trip we do in 10 days and then we have one more other trip and that's Southern Leyte and that's quite famous for the whale sharks. Yeah. So uh, they are basically the trips we have now um, but we're not sitting still and I can tell you already something new and that will be from next year 2013, November 2013. It's not in here yet but then we start with the Fiji siren. Fiji? Yes. And what is so special about Fiji? Fiji has many, many sharks, beautiful corals and big schools of fish. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it going to be a new boat? It's going to be a brand new boat and we start with the building soon. But as people know from us, it's going to be the same design, same design uh, and again made for divers uh, by divers. Yeah, great. Okay, if you would have to pick your four favorite destinations or four, four favorite itineraries, which one? Can you do that? <laughs> now you're asking, now you're asking. I actually have to admit that all the destinations we go, they're all my favorite. They're all my favorite. The, the, the beauty of uh, what we are doing is that we move the boats around. We move the boats around and the boats are actually at the right destination, year-wise, weather-wise, at the right time of the year. Okay, so maybe I will change the question. Uh, for our spring time, which destinations are the best? Which one? Spring, I would say Layang Layang. Uh, sorry, summer. Yeah, but uh, Layang Layang or uh, Maldives, a very good destination. Summer, definitely Komodo is one of the good ones to go, but also the Visayas in the Philippines. Uh, and then autumn? Autumn, we... autumn is a tricky one. Maldives, Maldives maybe, is yeah. always good. Maldives is always good. Philippines, Palau is also a very good one. Very good one. And the winter? The winter, 
is actually a, a the winter is actually a, a very good one for Palau, it's a good one for Raja Ampat, uh, again the Maldives, um, Thailand, Burma is a nice one. So generally you can pick anything and you will be delighted. <laughs> we, we have for everybody something at each time of the year. Okay, I think uh, we have all the information from you, they were exhausting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank more, you very much. More than a pleasure. <laughs> Zapraszam wzicki na nielepsze nurgowania ze zerem flit.